Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to continue working on these uh, Lab Museum United basketball posters. So here is a very quick draft. But what you need to do today, first thing, is take a look at some of the posters that I've shared with you and identify which poster specifically that you want to use as inspiration. And what you're going to do is you're going to sort of model it. So if we're looking at this one, for example, maybe you want to um, take this sort of template at the bottom where they've got 2013 on the left side, 2014 on the right and make it 2015 on the left side and 2016 on the right. Um, you're going to be thinking about um, all these little effects that are going on. You're going to be thinking about the layout. So I know, for example, Sydney is doing a really amazing job with this layout. She's integrating the green in the background as opposed to this blue. Um, so here's another really cool one. And what I like about this particular image is that the graphic designer sort of fit all these different basketball players together so they're spaced out not unlike a puzzle, um, it's actually kind of really, really cool. You can think about that as you're designing your poster. I noticed right here behind the schedule, they added a little contrast and then dropped the opacity. So you can do that. I see the logo here. We've got Penn State where they emphasized um, just the blue and desaturated everything else. We've got Boston College. Here's another cool one with lots of action shots. So you're more than welcome to explore something like that. So here's another one where they've, uh, my alma mater, as many of you know, they've got Connecticut in the center, right? And they sort of um, created that cool uh, effect where it's stretched out in that unique way. You can try to do that as well. This one's pretty simple, but cool nonetheless. Here we've got some more action photos. So later this week, I'm going to talk to you about brushes. And I'm going to share with you some really cool ways to sort of create this sort of effect um, as they did in the Tennessee poster. All right, so Elias did this one yesterday in class on Tuesday. He said he spent anywhere from 10 to 15 hours making this. So, so far you guys have spent about 20 minutes and, you know, that's just the, the smallest dent in the effort you're going to expend on this particular product. Here we've got a really cool one with blending modes. We're going to talk more about blending modes in the spring. This is a cool effect for Wake Forest, as is this one for Marquette. I'm pretty sure some of you guys could um, do something like this in class using all of those um, cutouts that we created. In fact, if we click here, you guys did a great job adding these. So we've got about 60 some odd um, cutouts. Although looking real, real quick, Vitan, um, you submitted this. I would definitely adjust the curves um, so that way everyone has a great um, image when they're using it in a class. Specifically, you want to lighten that up. So let's take a look uh, at a few more of these professional ones. This one looks great. A few of you guys can take this, use this as, as inspiration. And I mean, like, literally copy what it is you see, the layout, the format. So let's take a look at a few things, including Lego, the Lego, the logo. I'm talking to you about that in a moment. Um, but first, let's take a look at what you guys submitted yesterday. Okay, so this is from the fifth period class, and um, here we've got a great start, although I can see there's this, oh, there's like this gator texture in the back. That's interesting. Can't really see the um, dates. That's okay. Here we've got a nice little uh, fluorescent texture. It looks good. Um, we've got some cool, uh, cool gradient going on. Um, likewise with this one, although it looks like you stretch them out a little bit. They don't look exactly proportional. Um, and this uh, right here, there's not a lot of contrast. You can't really see the player or read the uh, names of the schools or the dates. So you're going to want to fix that. Uh, and so that's it for quick. Here we've got another cool poster um, with a simple background. Uh, let's take a look at this one. All right, so I think Boyana did this one. And I really like how she's got the the floorboards, although on second thought, that it's not exactly a basketball court. That might be like a kitchen floorboard, but I like that you got the alligators in there. Um, Jennifer, listen, great idea having the arena in the background. I love it, except you have these basketball players covering the basketball court. I would shift them down um, so that maybe they're, they're only visible waist up um, so that the legs are concealed by the Lab Museum United Basketball text. Uh, looks good. I really like this one. Um, could this be, whose is this? This is Ryan's. Uh, really nice start. I'm, I'm super impressed. Um, here we've got a simple start. Uh, I can't wait to see what's going to happen. And again, we've got a very preliminary draft. Anthony, nice job. Review. Now, quick Photoshop technique. If you wanted to change the gator's color, for example, from black to green, 
uh, what you're going to want to do is use the uh, magic wand. You're going to want to make sure that contiguous is unchecked because if contiguous is checked and you click on the eye, it's just the area that's selected, right? So I'm going to uncheck it and I'm going to click again and the entire area, all everything that's black is selected. I'm going to create a new layer, you know, a paint bucket. In this case, it's going to be red. Command D to deselect and we can see that if we move this around, uh, that's, that's our new layer. So if I press Command A, Command C, and then press Command V, all of a sudden we've got this in here. So I'm not really sure red is a color scheme or the color that you want to use, um, but you're more than welcome to be as creative as possible. At the end, what you're going to want to do, so not Wednesday, maybe not Thursday or even Friday, you're going to want to download the fonts. Because we can't save fonts to the computer, if you want to go back and edit it, then you're going to have to reinstall the uh, font. So think more about um, fonts on Thursdays and Fridays class, if not next week. Um, I'm really excited about your work. You're going to submit it as a PSD at the end of class. You guys are doing great things. Can't wait to see your work.